Hi everyone, this week I'm going to show you um, a little trick that I discovered. I don't know whether it is known, but and I actually haven't lo looked or checked. Um, so to stamp this um, pot, I wanted blue as you can see, and I didn't have a blue stamp pad and I couldn't didn't want to spend 20 bucks. I know that sounds tight, but I didn't want to spend 20 bucks on a new stamp pad that I was going to use probably once. So I thought, how else can I go about this? So I actually bought um, three types of sponges, and the Magic Sponge is the one that worked even better than I could have actually ever imagined. So that little container that's got the cut up ones in it has been sitting there for probably about three weeks, albeit it's had a lid on it but not a very good airtight lid and um, they, um, yeah, so I used it three weeks on ago on one of the projects which I've previously done and this is the blue little square of um, pad that I had from it that I actually also used yesterday on the on the um, one that you just saw so it hadn't it, I only added some I added a little bit of ink to it yesterday and I also added um, a little bit of isopropyl alcohol so as you can see that one is bone dry and I've just added a little bit of black to it. Too much black. They seem to take the ink really, really well. And um, that Matilla black is so black. And it just takes over everything. So when you see, when I push it down, um, the um, black has taken over everything. Um, you might be wondering why I don't have the clear acrylic black backs to the stamps. Um, sometimes it would make my life easier, but I tend to use my stamps on a lot of not flat um, surfaces. So like for instance the vase that I showed at the front, um, the big stamp on the left I used to bend around it and didn't do a very good job of it. The ink did smudge, but that's okay. I didn't really, I wasn't gonna do it again, put it that way. So, um, with this one here, I'm putting on my favorite orange, which is tangerine, and I put way too much in, way too much on. <laughs> And um, it shows when I stamp, as you will see. A little bit of teal. I could have cut the um, the magic eraser squares a little bit bigger, or to meet the size of the stamp. But oh well, I didn't, and it's working with what I'm doing anyway. So. Huh. So yeah. So I have been working on some other projects over the past couple of weeks. So that vase that you've um, saw earlier in the video, it um, is about to have a crackle layer over the um, over the stamps, and then I'm going to age it with some dirt. I think. Anyway, we'll see in a couple of weeks, and I'm also looking at doing a couple of um, lighting fixtures so I want to do a hanging lampshade and then I'm going to do that with a plastic bowl and then I want to do one where I make from scratch but I haven't quite decided of the material that I'm going to do with that um, and the other thing that I've been working on is non-DIY is um, a part of my um, a business is digital art. I've been a digital artist for 12 years and I sell 
used to sell a lot of um, surreal and um, fantasy um, Photoshop art pieces, that, well, art pieces that I did in Photoshop. Now, with the onset of the likes of Leonardo and Midjourney, I can see this drying up for me in my art shows because there's going to be, um, you know, what takes five minutes to create isn't going to be have the same dollar value as what I've previously been charging. So I have been teaching myself. Um, I chose um, Leonardo, and the project that I've been working on is some um, Instagram um, posts and stories where I've created the images in Leonardo and then I have gone ahead and written quotes to match the images that I kind of dreamed up or popped into my head as I was looking at the images. So they're now on Etsy and if you want to have a look I will put um, a couple of links below to where you can have a look at the full packs, all the images that I've done and um, the actual product on on Etsy. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick little video today and I'm not doing something that hasn't been done a thousand times over but anyway if I have if it has it has if it you know you know what I'm gonna say anyway so cheers thanks for watching and I would really like appreciate a like and subscribe this YouTube thing can be quite hard going have a great day So you can see that this was bone dry and when I've added the um, the isopropyl alcohol to it, it um, has brought it back to life again. And there was still, even though it was really light at first, once the isopropyl alcohol um, soaked in, it um, brought it out a deeper colour.